Shani from Crafts Names and Things with another quick crafty idea for you today. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own ink sprays with food coloring. Yes. So like if you're just getting started in art journaling, um, for sure you can use these on paper. Um, yeah, so absolutely this is a good way to save money so these are just travel side spray bottles that I got from the dollar store um this one was the only one that came with one sprayer so I am just going to kind of use both of them I'll just take the sprayer off and use her and just switch them off so um today I've made a number of colors already um but today I'm going to just show you how to make um, we'll make, how about we make yellow and actually let's make red and blue. Okay. So make one red and one blue. Okay. So all you're going to do is fill up your bottles, your spray bottles. Um, I know that these don't work well with the acrylic paint. Sometimes it can get stuck. Like if you do acrylic paint and water, um, but I've tried that and it was okay with me, but I know some people say, so you're just going to pour in some water and then you're just going to put in some dots of food coloring it's to make it as dark as you want. That's the main thing. Okay. So if you can see in there and on the side, it's red. Okay. And then we'll do, so we'll just add a little bit more water here. And the cool thing about why I picked blue and red, which I'm sure you know why, is because when you spray them together, they make what color? Purple, the best color in the world. These to me. Okay. Ready? So um, now you'll just put the cap on and you'll just give them a shake. Shake, 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 shake. And just, yeah, make sure that it's the concentration that you want it to be. If not, you can add some more. No worries in our life right now. Okay. And we will start out with the red one first, okay? Let's wipe this down a little bit, okay? And if you wanted to, I think you could add like a little bit of mica or a really shimmery eyeshadow and make your own shimmery ones too. So um, what you're going to do is you're just going to put your stencil over your paper. I got this stencil on sale at um, Hobby Lobby. I think it was like two, like a dollar twenty-seven or something. Um, yeah, but I always go to the clearance aisle first, and you never know what you'll find there because I'm on the budget, so I have to craft as cheaply as I can. And on the bottom of this, you'll see, if you're interested, I have a video on how to make puffy puffy paint stamps, too. So if you want to see that, I'll put a link below. But um, you're just going to take it, and you're just going to spray it. And this is cardstock, um, so you know you don't want to drench it, but yeah. And then um, just let it dry, or just take your towel and kind of dot it a little bit. I don't want it that concentrated, okay? But you see, but you can see the bird and all that stuff in it. So it works very well, and I've done this before. It lasts, you know, just as long as those other paints. You just let it dry, and then we can do our blue one. So we'll just kind of, uh, see, I think I'll do it right. No, I'll do it off a little bit. So I'll turn it around, and we'll just switch off this part. And it's, it's fine if I get a little bit of blue in there, like I said, because I'm going to make purple. So... Good, and you can add more color to make it darker. You see, now my blue's coming out. And I probably would add a little bit more color. Okay, good. Ready? And we're just going to dry off around the stencil. I'm going to try not to take any of the color. Okay. Okay, and then if you had a heat gun, you could dry it really quick, or there we go. And that one I should have dotted a little bit better. Okay, very good. 
So you see here that we can see the bird, which is kind of cool. And you can kind of see them over here too, except that I moved the stencil too quick and I should have let it dry. So just remember to dry. And if you don't want to use, you know, that, then you can just take it and just spray it. And it colors your paper. Just like a spray ink. So that's just a cheap way um, for you to make your own spray inks. So um, thank you so much for watching and um, please like and subscribe. I will have more ideas um, for you. So, um, so please uh, like and subscribe. You never know what I'm working on. And please share videos too.